I'd say he's very energetic. <laughs> he's yes. very active. He has a very strong will. A few weeks before Christmas, we noticed that um, Colin seemed to be having allergy symptoms and his voice was changing, so we took him to the pediatrician. They checked him, didn't find anything, sent him for an x-ray to, to look at his adenoids, and they noticed that his adenoids were large. And in the process, we found out that the removed tissue was cancerous. I think we also didn't believe it because we had just gone through this journey with our friend's daughter. I just remember thinking, there's no way that we both can be going through this. It was just like really frightening because I never thought that I'd actually have it. The doctor and my mom like pulled me into a room and were like telling me how he had cancer and stuff. I remember I like cried for two hours. We were just shocked. So when we got to the ER, I can tell you that I was even still a little bit more in denial. And then they started chemotherapy which is like really hard on your body. And roughly about six months later, we decided to perform a bone marrow transplant or a stem cell transplant on him. Which was very, very hard. Colin was put into isolation, was not allowed to be around friends. After he got the transplant there, a few months later, he started running fevers and developed enlarged lymph nodes and then lesions in the liver and so on. It was found that he had developed a secondary cancer called a B-cell lymphoma. So we had to break the news to him that he had cancer again. It was really hard having cancer again because I didn't know that I was actually gonna make it through. You know, so we just knew that we were starting all over, it's what it felt like to us. The effects from the chemotherapy on during the second cancer diagnosis were much more severe than during the first. Uh, he would be very sick a lot of the time. It just seemed like he was going through so much. I was like, I don't know if he can do it. I don't know if he can like take it all in. But miraculously, after only one and a half rounds of chemotherapy, um, it was all gone. I was really happy about that and I've been cancer free since. So it is true, Colin has actually fought off two different cancers within the space of a year or less. Being at Dayton Children's, I mean no parent wants to be there for an extended amount of time, but if you have to be somewhere, I think that was a great place for us and for any child. The care there was unbelievable. We fell in love with all the doctors immediately. So now Colin is really wanting to help other people, especially kids who are going through the same thing that he has done. So we've started a charity with our friends, the Barnetts, and it's called Together We Fight. What we are doing is putting together basically large goodie bags for kids who are newly diagnosed at Dayton Children's. And we give them to every cancer patient that's admitted to the hospital at Dayton Children's. It's just stuff that we thought was really important when we were going into the hospital that people might need. What's taught me that like I need to appreciate like everything that's done for me and to live my life thankful. Sometimes it's like really hard and you don't know if you're gonna make it, but still you just gotta keep persevering and pushing on. And he came home and he was so excited that he knew he could play outside. So right before he went out the door, I said to him, now remember, the physical therapist said you're not allowed to run. And he looked at me and he said, I'm gonna run. And I watched him out the window. He ran down the sidewalk to our neighbor's house. Since this journey, we definitely um, appreciate every day a little bit more.